Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to discuss about probes. So probes or the container probes you can call them are basically used to run some kind of diagnostic in your pod. So there are basically three types of uh, uh, probes. So first one is a lightness probe. So this basically checks if your container is running or not and if your container has failed for some reason it tries to restart it. Then the second one is the readiness probe like readiness so this probe actually helps i mean it actually makes sure that your container or your pod is actually ready to accept the request it is very helpful in cases where you're running say an application which takes some time to come up right and you don't want it to immediately start accepting requests so there should be some mechanism to make sure that your application is up and running until you redirect your request to that particular pod so in that case, readiness probes actually help you to do achieve that, right? The third one is actually very similar to readiness probe. It's called startup probe. Startup probe. And it basically checks for all your applications which you have configured in your pod are up and running or not. And if you have described or if you have de declared startup probe in your uh, configuration, all the other probes are disabled until the startup probe is successful. So the other probes will not be functional until this probe is uh, like, I mean, it, it passes, right? All these probes actually have three actions uh, inside them. So first one is an exec action where you can execute some command to check for the liveliness, liveness or the readiness of your pod. The second one is a TCP socket action that actually lets you check for say, uh, a port right suppose you're running a web server on port 8080 so you can check whether that port is listening or not using a tcp socket uh, action and the third one is an http get action so this actually helps let you make an http request on a particular path or port and if your uh, return code is 200 then your probe i mean your probe is successful otherwise it fails right so these are the three checks so in this video, I'm going to show you how a liveness probe works and probably you can figure out about the readiness and the startup. If you want me to create a video on readiness and startup, I can do that as well. But liveness probe is actually, I mean, an easy one, I would say. And in CKA exam, you can actually get this question to configure probes for your pods, right? So it's actually very important and not many videos talk about these. So let's clear the screen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pod uh, kubectl run and I'll call this liveness because we are testing liveness probe, right? And image I'm going to use is simple busy box image. So we are not going to do anything fancy and we'll do a dry run. Oh, because we want the YAML file, so let's just redirect it to live.yaml, right? All right, so now let's go inside the live.yaml file and let's get rid of the things which we don't need. Say we don't need creation time, labels, and we don't need resources, DNS policy, restart policy, and status. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'll run some command inside this. So using arg, if you remember, we can run commands and the command could be simple bin sh flc. So these are all the arguments I'm passing. You can use the command uh, block also to run this command. And the last one is what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch a file in temp directory called health, right? Then I'll put this to sleep for say 20 seconds and then I'm going to remove the temp file. So temp file, yeah. And then I'll put it to sleep again for 10 seconds, right? So this is what my container will be doing. So this is the, I mean, 
this is the main part now i'm going to configure a probe and a probe is always uh, i mean configured inside the container definition so it doesn't go inside the spec it goes inside the container definition right because you're configuring probe for a container so let's do live ness probe and it will be an exec probe so exec right and the command which i want to run in this probe is so i'll do a simple cat on the temp health so as long as i'm getting this if i'm able to do this that means i mean our pod is running if this fails uh, the liveness probe will actually try to restart it right so now i think and there are a couple of properties which you can define uh, i think the first one is called initial delay and let's set it to five seconds so this is uh, the time which i mean which we want uh, the probe basically to start uh, at this particular so it has to wait for five seconds before we can start the probe right so it has to wait for five seconds so that is what we are defining so we don't want the probe to start immediately after the container has started we want it to wait for five seconds and then start uh, the probe and the next property which i want to define is period seconds so this is the frequency at which i want my probe to keep checking for this particular uh, command right so let's say we define it say five again so every five second this probe will run and it will look for this particular file all right if we have not made any Syntax error. I think this looks good. Let's save this and clear the screen. And now let's run it kubectn apply hyphen f live.yaml. And we have an error initial delay. Okay, so there is a typo. Let's go to. initial delay seconds so this i is an extra character let's save this let's try again let me clear the screen first Look down let's try again all right the pod got created now let's quickly do kubectl describe pod So you can see the container is being created. Let's do live plot again. Container is being created. Okay, so you see the liveness probe has failed. It can't open the temp help because uh, after 20 seconds that file got deleted. So now let's see what it does. So you can see it has actually restarted, right? The probe has restarted the container. And you can see it will fail again because when the container restarted it again created that file and then after 20 seconds that file got deleted so it will keep doing this again and again in a loop but i just wanted to show you that how liveness probe will actually try to restart it if it fails right all right so yeah this is it for this video guys in the same way you can actually i mean say if you have an nginx container running let me see if i have an nginx file over here 
So we have an nginx, so let me do a cat on nginx. So you can see this is running an nginx container. Similarly, you can have a probe uh, which can, a liveness probe or the readiness probe, which can do a TCP socket check on port 80 because nginx will run on port 80 and see if that port 80 is listening or not. And until that port 80 is not listening, your probe, uh, your uh, pod will not be up, right? So you can set up all these probes uh, in your container, I mean, in your YAML files, in your pod file, pod manifest file. And they are actually very helpful, right? Especially the liveness and the readiness probe, because especially the readiness probe, because uh, there are some applications that takes, suppose, for example, Tomcat. Tomcat actually takes some time to come up, right? So for that, a readiness probe is actually very helpful. So just play around with probes. They are not very, I mean, you won't see them a lot in exam. Maybe one question out of it just to create a probe for a particular uh, pod and they'll give you the command and things like that that you need to run in the probe, right? So you should be aware that how many types of probes are there and what actions are available to you. So that is, should be enough to get you through the exam. Uh, in the live uh, prod environment, uh, you would see actually people configuring probes, especially the readiness probe, you'll see a lot. Startup and liveness probe, I haven't seen much, but the readiness probe is something that you'll see. So cool. Yeah, this is it for this video, guys. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. Let me know in the comment if you like the video or if you want me to uh, do a video on readiness probe as well. So I'll do that for you uh, uh, again. Uh, again, yeah, that's it for this video. Mm, thank you for watching guys.